Hey, what's up guys? This is a quick video to focus on the most dramatic looking UFO sighting that turned up in the live footage of the recent launch of the Dragon craft from SpaceX, which they sent up to the International Space Station just three weeks ago on December 8th, 2018. So there were three and a half hours of live footage recorded during the launch up to the connection with the ISS and there were a few UFO sightings that turned up in those three and a half hours uh, but this was the most dramatic sighting and it actually happened really early on this sighting happened at a minute and 35 seconds into the start of the recording so I'll put a link in the description below so check out the original footage uh, which is what we're seeing here uh, when this rotation starts right here this is the original footage and then for the subsequent clips all I've done is manipulated the colors and the brightness of the colors uh, but otherwise these following clips are not edited in any way I haven't uh, changed the contrast at all for example or anything else. I've only manipulated the colors and the brightness as much as possible. So I'll just let these clips all play a few times and uh, I know that last clip is really oversaturated but I left that in there on purpose because despite being oversaturated I think it helps to bring out the most visibility of this craft. And I'm going to call it a craft now because that's what it looks like to me. Um, it looks like a triangular shaped craft, uh, but more than anything, to me, it looks like an airplane shaped craft. So, um, I believe we are seeing um, an object with wings on each side and then a point up ahead at the front of the craft. Uh, so basically just an airplane shape. Um, and there's a light at each of those three points, the end of each wing and the nose of the plane uh, seems to have a light on it and it does become the most visible when it's flying close to the dragon craft which is what we're seeing uh, bright in the foreground here so the more uh, bright the versions get the more of a solid object we seem to see the more of a solid structure um, the, uh, the lights on the front of it and on the left wing of it seem like they might be flashing erratically um, once they start to go by the Dragoncraft. Uh, however, we might just not be seeing the lights uh, before that point. So, I mean, they're either starting to flash more when they go by the Dragoncraft or we're just starting to see the same lights more. Um, but either way, uh, they become visible uh, flashing erratically when they go by the dragon craft and then the wing on the right seems to have a steady light the whole time also the center of the craft would seem to have a, a steady light shining the whole time as well and the object has sort of a, a red sort of a rust color uh, that really comes out the more um, the more the clip is brightened and the more the colors uh, saturation is uh, increased um, so we start to see more of a ruddy red or orange color emerge uh, from a very solid looking craft and I'll just let these clips play a little bit more and then I'll leave it at that um, there are a few more sightings or at least a couple more sightings in the three and a half hours of live footage from SpaceX uh, but like I said, this was the most dramatic looking UFO sighting of all. And um, the fact that it becomes more visible when it goes by the Dragon Craft uh, really seems to show that it's reflecting light uh, that's being put off by the Dragon Craft because it's emitting some exhaust, which just happens to be illuminated by bright sunlight and then that just happens to illuminate the object a couple times when it's going by the dragon craft and that's important because that's proving that it's a real actual solid object uh, which is flying by or gliding by um, 
and reflecting the light off of the dragon craft. And um, that's mainly important for proving that we're seeing a real object and it's not just seeing distant lights um, from a nighttime shot of the earth, which is what people are uh, debunking these uh, sightings as. Um, people are arguing that these are just seeing distant city lights on earth uh, but I think it's very obvious that um, the stars are in the background so we're not looking down on earth we're looking out into space uh, from this camera here which by the way is mounted to the International Space Station so um, each bright inversion the stars emerge more in the background so it becomes quite obvious and clear that we're looking out into space, we're seeing the stars, and we're not looking down at planet Earth. Uh, so this UFO is definitely not city lights on Earth, and that's especially proven by the light reflecting off of it when it goes by the dragon craft. So I'll just let this play a couple more times, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Like I said, I know that that last oversaturated version is too distorted to be realistic, but I, I do think it helps bring out the lights on each of the three points of the craft. The point on the front nose of the plane and then the two wings on the sides. I think that shows the best in that last oversaturated shot, you know, if not also showing the solid nature of the craft. This right here might be the most natural and most clear looking shot of it. So I'll just let these play out and I'll close the vid. What do you guys think this is? It's definitely a craft of some sort and it's got a very bizarre structure. Not only is it plane shaped, but there seem to be a lot of strange curves on the um, outside of this craft. It definitely doesn't look like anything that NASA would make or that humans would make in general. Um, there's just all these strange curves and uh, lights on the on the surface of it apparently. Um, there's the light shining in the center of it in addition to the three lights on, on its points and uh, with its strange red color and with its uh, very um, with its assortment of lights seeming very irregular across the surface of it, this just does not resemble anything that would be made by mankind. Very alien looking structure. Um, it's just not something that people would think of making in the first place. Like they wouldn't think of making a spacecraft that would be a ruddy, rusty red color. Um, you know, in the shape of a plane with, with a, a light in the center of it and with some strange curves on the structure of it, with the lights flashing irregularly and with an irregular uh, spread of lights on the wings, especially on that left wing of it. There seems to be a small cluster of lights. Um, I think I'm seeing at least four lights that just have an irregular arrangement on that left wing and uh, that's the kind of thing that to me just shows that this is not made by humans from NASA or SpaceX or any group uh, because uh, people want to make things as as symmetrical and regular looking as possible um, we don't make irregular assortment of lights we want to make the most symmetrical looking appearance of our craft and of our lights uh, not to mention the bizarre uh, curvy uh, structure of the craft which does not look familiar to me uh, as resembling any kind of craft 